And finally, I would like to give you an opportunity to share any words of ad advice or wisdom on how to achieve contentment in this life uh, and peace and purpose, uh, contentment in this life. You see, most people, when they think about peace and contentment, they think about what they want to do for themselves. Okay. Self-centered. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's a selfish thing. And that's okay because you know what? According to Muslim creed, Human beings were introduced to the Lord before they even got here, like we mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But now they're, when they come to this earth, they're no longer in His direct company. So there's this emptiness inside the human being, okay. longing for that the amazing company that the human being once enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Now, that emptiness, you can fill it with anything else, mm -hmm. and it will just be depleted and it won't fill you. Okay. And the only thing that will fill you is when you realize that original covenant, you are master, I am slave, and I'm ready to serve. And I want to serve only you. If you turn to God, I'm not even saying Allah, you turn to God and you say to Him, I have decided to serve only you. Show me the truth. And I've, I've decided I really want to be your slave. My, my innermost conscience in the depths of, the, of my heart, I feel this was the purpose for which I was created. Mm -hmm. And I want to come to you and only to you. And I want to know, do no blasphemy towards you. I do not follow, want to follow the word of man. I want to follow your word. Show me what you have to say. Show me how to be your slave. Okay. Because when someone says, I want to be your slave, this is really important now. When someone says to someone else, you're, uh, or for example, if I was a slave and I had a human master, how would you know if I was a slave? You wouldn't. That's a good, that's a good point. The only way you would know that I'm a slave is I was, if I was always doing what the master wants. Mm -hmm. But the only way for me to know what the master wants master is not telepathically. Mm -hmm. He's got to spell it out for me. Mm -hmm. If I'm a slave and the master never tells me what he wants, he never tells me what he wants, then guess what I'm going to act on? Yourself. My own will. And if I'm acting on my own will, I'm no longer a slave. I'm yes. free. The only difference between a free person and a slave is a free person Submission acts on their will. own will. Yes. And a slave acts on the will of the master. Mm -hmm. So if you've decided you're going to be a slave to God, you're going to be his slave, then it's necessary that you ask him, well, tell me how to be your slave. The Qur'an's phrase for that is, اِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim." Guide us. Guide us to the straight path. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to make you happy. Right. I don't know what you want me to do, what you don't want me to do, mm -hmm. how you want me to live, how you not want me to live. Mm -hmm. You know, I know none of these things. So I beg you to guide me. And if, you, if that question has come into your heart, then read the translation, even the most shallow translation of the first surah. I'm not going to say chapter, even though that's what most books say. Mm -hmm. It's the first unit, if mm -hmm. you will, or the first surah of the Qur'an. Just read it even in translation. You'll find what your inner conscience has been thinking outlined right there. Okay. Uh, outlined right there. Briefly. Uh, comprehensively. Comprehensively. Okay. comprehensively. Okay. okay. Well, ver uh, very well. I mean, so far we have touched upon uh, the purpose of life, the existence, the social justice and uh, being a slave, the difference between being a slave uh, to a master uh, who is our creator versus being a slave to another person XYZ yeah. and uh, your um, your opinions how one can be content and I think this would uh, help a view our viewer to understand and uh, differentiate if I would say uh, the differences between this religion versus another religion or versus no religion at all mm -hmm. And I appreciate your time and effort in this matter. And uh, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate the invitation. I hope this is of benefit to the audience. Thank you. thank you. Are you satisfied with letting others misrepresent Islam? No, we must do something. Support 877Y Islam Project. They have put billboards in over 40 cities, hundreds of subway and bus ads. 877Y Islam airs radio advertisements in major cities and recently launched TV commercials on local Fox, CNN and CBS channels. Send your donations today.